Now, often the storylines we watch on our screens reflect on the issues that our societies are dealing with. And the issue of HIV is one that we can never stop talking about due to the negative stigma that still exists around people who are diagnosed with it. Diderik's storyline on Sievan Dalan takes a look at the stereotypes surrounding people living with HIV. Absolutely. Now, we also have Han Lee, who is the head writer at Sievan Dalan, to unpack the storyline, as well as Dr. Cindy Fanzel to discuss some facts and myths about HIV. Dit is wat jy vir jou vriende doen. Gaan het nou met om. Paai beter. Het maar alles vertel. Oh, dankie toch. Ek, ek kan nie vir jou sê hoe moeilik dit was nie. Ek het om soveel keer gedruk om vir jou te sê. Jy verdien om te weet. En die druk het jou nou nodig. Ek weet. Ek het baie gaan nalees. Daar is soveel goed wat hulle deestal kan doen om jou leven te verleng. Precies. En ek is daar om julle te ondersteun. Ons gaan hierdie pad saamloop. <laughs> Soos ek desuit vir jou gesê het, om HIV positief te wees, is lang al nie meer doodsvolle sê. Wow, what a moment. So that was the moment when South Africa found out. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I mean, watching that scene, obviously there was that twist that she thought that they were speaking about a different illness, but unfortunately her husband's status was revealed to her in quite a shocking way. Mm -hmm. Doctor, how, how do people, first of all, tackle telling the family? Well, disclosure is, is, is a hard thing. I think we still, we still have people that struggle with it. And I always say that the people that need to know your status are people that you're exchanging bodily fluids with. So I'm not one for telling the whole family. I'm, I'm one for telling your partner. And, and even so, it must be, it must be very strategic because you, know, yeah. you need to know what your partner feels about HIV in the first place. Yeah. And then you, you, know, you work around that. Hanley, you're the head writer at Sia Vindalan. And, and I mentioned earlier to Diderik that Sia Vindalan does not shy away from talking about the hard, mm. real stuff. Mm. And it's always so exciting to see people's reactions to your storylines. Mm. So, and uh, Dr. Fonse, you've been uh, consulting on the storyline. Mm. What's it been like working together and just fleshing the storyline out? It's been tremendous. I mean, it was actually incredible how it came about. We we have a bi and a biannual sick a week of story conference for the next six months and we decided obviously we look at our country we look at what we want to say we look at not only entertaining but informing and educating mm. because that is what what is our response it's also our responsibility so we decided we're going to do a, an HIV story and we're going to be doing it with a long-term character who is who's very well loved by our audience mm. and we're going to make it a, a, a story of, of hope and success mm. and because it is not a death sentence yeah. like we saw in the clip and then I was driving home a couple of days later and I heard Cindy um, on the radio and she was I, I, I get goosebumps when I think about it now how things just pan out and and I, I stopped in my garage at home and I couldn't put off the radio because she was just the way she was speaking about this and I thought I we needed a, my script department and myself needed a handle on it and suddenly this handle was just provided to me uh, and and we can't the airwaves yes. miraculously <laughs> exactly. yeah um, and then she contacted us back um, amazingly and then we she started walking this journey with us and she came to our boardroom and that first session, Cindy, I will never forget, my entire team, our entire team, left there in an absolute state of awe in terms wow. of just the information that she could, could, could mm. convey. I mean, we all know people and friends mm -hmm. who are HIV, who do uh, live with HIV, yeah. but just the way she could convey to us and even teach us even more, that was yeah. incredible. Yeah. You know, what stands out for me, as you said, you, you chose a character that's a long-term character yeah. and that's well-loved yeah. by um, Stephen Delan audiences. Do you, do you think that makes the story way more impactful? Mm. Yes, I do think so. Yeah. Because it's not, it's many people in this country, millions, um, walk this journey for a lifetime yeah. and not just for a yeah. short time. And it would have, it's easy to do a storyline of two weeks or three months on an important issue. Mm -hmm. But when you then just shy away, it's like our kiss recently that made such upheaval. You oh, know, yeah. we're going to stick yeah. with that. You know, we're going we're gonna to walk that road. <laughs> so it's, it's important to not shy away from cru crucial mm. issues. Yeah. So that's what we try to do while we entertain. Mm. Yeah. Cindy, awesome. what was so important that you just had to relay not only to the character Diedrich, but to the to the team? What were the facts and myths that people need to get through and overcome? The most important thing was, to, was of course, to, to relay the fact that HIV is not a death sentence and that it can happen to anyone. And that's why I'm so glad that they chose, you know, a, a, a character that's not gay. Because, if you, mm. if, you know, if you look at the, at most of the 
the white character that I portrayed living with HIV, it's mostly white gay males. Mm. So to have a white heterosexual male living with HIV is very different, and it's important to know that there are white heterosexual males living with HIV. And the second thing, of course, was you know the whole thing that can happen to anyone. So it doesn't matter what socioeconomic status or what background you're from, HIV can and does happen to anyone. And the last thing was just the one of hope. You know, so somewhere along the line, hopefully there'll be a baby to show that even though you're living mm -hmm. with HIV, mm -hmm. you can you know you can have sex and, and and not transmit the virus to your partner and have kids and so on and so on. So that's that's really important because it's about hope. I think a lot of people when they find out their statuses are concerned about the future. Am I going to be able to have kids? Will I be able to have meaningful relationships? And the answer is yes. Yeah. You know, a resounding yes to all of those yeah. questions. Yeah. Handy, why is it so important for Sia van der Lant to be at the center of these these hard social issues that we as South Africans need to tackle? Because, I mean, you have an incredible audience. You could just shy away from it and play it safe. Mm. I don't think you can shy away anymore. Um, our audience is, we're in, an, in such a unique position. Mm. Uh, we, are, we have such a diverse audience. People don't know how diverse our audience is. It's, um, you know, 40, 42% black audience. Yeah. And people used to think, oh, it was a white show, more mm. colored show. But we are so well spread. And we are unique in that sense. To show people um, from different, different places in our society, in our world, that might still be isolated from mm. each other. Our responsibility, and especially um, our producer, and Tandi Ramatisele, it's a, it's a huge responsibility yeah. for us yeah. to do that. Um, because, yeah, we can still tell lovely, funny stories and, and love stories, but you have to kind of hit to the bone. Otherwise, yeah. you don't touch the heart of people. Yeah. And I believe it's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, Henny, being an actor, you always want to touch the heart of people. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you've already mentioned the fear that, unfortunately, your daughters might get a stigma at school. Are there any other negatives or things that you were very fearful of taking on this um, storyline? Uh, no, no. When I when I sat down and thought about it, uh, like I said earlier, the main thing was to get this uh, this message across mm. about uh, what we're trying to, to tell you, and that it's important to know the facts. And because I think there's a lot of people out there that's that's scared, you know. Yeah. And if we can make a difference in one person's life, then then that's important. Yeah. yeah. Doctor, where are we in our as South Africans in our fight against HIV and AIDS? Okay, so at the moment we're chasing a target that was, um, you know, set by the United Nations AIDS um, um, organization. We, we need to have 90% of people knowing their statuses, and of those 90%, we want 90% of them on treatment, and of those 90% on treatment, we want 90% of them with a, a, a suppressed viral load. And the idea is to is to make sure that we reduce infections. So if you're taking your treatment properly, and and your viral load is undetectable, it's suppressed, you can't transmit the virus. So that's really where we are. I think every country is working towards 90, 90, 90, mm -hmm. and that's why it's important for everybody to go and get tested. If you don't if you don't test, we can't help you. But if you do test, then we know exactly what to do. Whoa, that's uh, a lot of to take in all at once, but I think it is so crucial to have this conversation right now, mm -hmm. especially in the beginning of the year, leading up to Valentine's Day mm -hmm. also. But another stigma that people think is that it's only through intimacy that one can contract it. But we can see even in Henny's character that there is a possibility of drug use, needles, um, sanit things being hygienic, and that spread happening. Yeah, yeah, so so I, mean, I think that's one of the important things that I didn't want to come through in the storyline. I didn't want it to only focus on, on you know, sexual transmission. So the commonest way of contracting HIV is obviously through sex, but you can also get it through intravenous um, drug use. So in Henny's case, I think it's very, we don't really know how he got it, and, I, and I, that is important to me. And, okay. and I, I remember sharing this with the team that we don't want to focus it on one aspect of, of HIV um, you know, transmission. <sighs> Thank you so much Thank for coming you. through and spreading such light on such a heavy topic. So after the break, we spread some goodness with actress Uzinande Mfunyane, who recently visited the school, Usinzile uh, Primary School, to give some school shoes away to some very deserving kids. Plus, we chat to Kim about the healthy eating habits of healthy pregnancies. See you after the break.